What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater, and I'm out here with my sales rep, John, and we have a brand new series of speakers coming out, the BTS line, and it is coming out in January, and I'm super stoked. It's fairly affordable, and it sounds amazing. Absolutely. What's so great about it? Absolutely. So what we wanted to do as a leader in the cinema market is bring products that we've had here today that you're going to find in places like Studio Movie Grill, Alamo Draft House, Regal Cinemark, Regals and Cinemark. And what we wanted to do was bring the high frequency driver and the mid-range driver from the KPT Cinema Grandeur and bring it into these three new products that can fit a 133 inch screen, 160 inch screen and 180 inch screen. Then we've got our passive 15 inch subwoofers that come from the KPT 684. So the last time that you were in a home cinema and you felt that thing shake, that's what we put into this system. So for $35,000, you can get a 3.2 cinema system made in America from Klipsch. Good luck finding that anywhere else. If you want the true cinema in your home, it's only 20 and a half inches deep, modular. We'll put it behind your screen, and that way you can have a true cinema made in America, and you won't be able to find that price point anywhere else. Bam! You heard it here first, guys. Let's go into this demo and check it out. with four inch titanium diaphragm compression drivers mated to 90 by 60 tractrix horns. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Eclipse BTS behind the screen home cinema system. That top bullet right there says pro cinema componentry. That is absolutely true. We did not redesign or design from the <coughs> ground up new drivers for this system based off of residential designs. We, as I mentioned, with that high market share in professional cinema, we took componentry, drivers, crossovers, horns, that we build every day at our factory in Hope, Arkansas for pro cinemas all over the world, and we figured out a way to repackage it, make it easier to specify, sell, and install for the residential integrator. Here's how it works. There are three systems in the BTS series. BTS 180, BTS 160, and BTS 133. As you can see, those are each associated with a screen size. After you've specified a screen for your customer, you come to us and you order the, sing the singular part number for the BTS system that is close closest to the screen size that you've specified. You order that single part number. We ship you the two subs and the three <laughs> LCRs. Uh, as you can see, they all go together to, to form a nice <coughs> false wall behind the screen. The 180 inch, 160 inch, and 133 inch specifications <coughs> are agnostic to aspect ratio, meaning they will work behind a wide screen like you see here, and they will work behind a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So don't worry about that, just give us the diagonal dimension of the screen and we'll ship you the right system. In terms of what you heard today, the BTS 180 flagship system uh, was behind the screen. Preliminary retail on that system is about 35 grand. It's not finalized. We'll give it about 30, 45 days before it is finalized. Uh, we have 10 of the KPT 8000M molded cinema surrounds in the room, six on the side and rear, four up top as Atmos channels. Total system cost in terms of speakers to the end user, $45,000. The Datasat RS20i processor is what we're using in the back, along with 18 channels of ATI 500 series amplification. Flight Escape UHD HDR source, JVC 4K laser projector, and then finally the Seymour Screen Excellence 180 inch screen that you see right in front of you for a total system cost of $125,000 to the end user. Any questions about that, those systems, how they work? Something I should call out, which I didn't, I apologize. 
All three of those systems do utilize the 18 inch diameter subs and the 15 inch diameter woofers in the LCRs. The difference between the systems, obviously the size of the cabinets, but it's also the size of the compression drivers. They get smaller as you go down the line and the size of the voice coils behind the woofers and subwoofer drivers uh, go down as you go down the line. So you get exponentially better low frequency extension, power handling, and peak SPL capability as you go up the line. Switch back to some demo content. Before we get into this, I do like to mention Klipsch as a brand was founded uh, under the philosophy of recreating the live music experience. Paul Klipsch, our founder, built his first Klipsch horn because he was an avid concert goer and his home hi-fi system couldn't reproduce the raw power, detail, and emotion of a live concert experience. So I'd like to share one of those experiences with you today. Tell me something, girl. Is there something else you're searching for? And in the bad times I feel myself. Tell me something, boy. Right here. Take no dead. Yeah, what's right? up? What do you think up? about that system, bro? Oh man, that thing kicks. <laughs> Love it. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I can get a 180 inch screen into my house now. That's that's. I gotta move. May maybe if he gives us a call, we can help him out with that. Yeah. yeah you guys, you guys <laughs> install in California. If you do, then you know I'll give you guys. Oh, a call. You, you know we're right around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> right on, bro. Dude, that build it. It was awesome, and no, it, it really is like, and it's huge, and Don't it's affordable. Don't let the online the pictures fool you. It's huge. I got a picture with a human standing next to it for scale. Wait, so. you, you got you got a picture of a human standing next to it? Yeah. What? Yeah. Dude, that's what Techno Dad does, bro. Techno get, Dad coming in hot right now. Get the uh, exclusive stuff for my viewers. Boom. Oh, but that's so, a picture of it. Yeah, that's it's a one-to-one -one picture of it. They want to take down the screen, so now if you guys want to see this in the video, go to Techno Dad, and I should. Uh, have a video up next week. Check him out, dude. Techno Dad's killing the game. That's right, baby. We'll see you guys next time. Long story short, guys, that demo was sick. You heard it, you loved it, you need it in your home. If you want it, give me a call. It's gonna be out in January. I'd love to put it in for you. If you guys are not already a subscriber, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. This smash it. Smash it. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. Later.